This week's First Case Expert series episode entitled Service Reporting was written by asset recovery expert Ashley Jackson, Vice President of Business Development at Masri. Service reporting is more than routine paperwork. It's the lifeline of medical equipment maintenance and patient safety in healthcare facilities. In order to truly leverage this tool, standardizing the way biomedical engineering teams categorize equipment failures is crucial. Many hospitals employ their unique failure coding systems, leading to confusion. Furthermore, not all institutions track cost of parts and service for each work order, complicating budget forecasting. These practices hamper the effectiveness of Computerized Maintenance Management System, CMMS, which is limited by non-standardized error codes. Excessively numerous codes can result in inconsistent reporting, obfuscating accurate trending on failures, service budgeting, and end-of-life analysis. This lack of standardization inhibits biomed teams from proactively addressing equipment failures and improving patient safety. However, the adoption of a streamlined and standardized failure coding system can promote actionable insights. For instance, a trend of screen failures due to harsh cleaning chemicals was identified at our facility, leading to an informed dialogue with the environmental services team about suitable cleaning products. In another instance, trending helped identify a workflow issue. Physiological monitors were frequently damaged due to being dropped in a specific care area. Investigation revealed the lack of appropriate monitor stands for patient transport. Responding to this trend, our biomed team designed a custom mount for walkers, immediately reducing repair instances. Ultimately, ensuring patient safety requires a precise understanding of equipment failures and servicing costs. Hence, standardizing equipment failure codes and diligently logging service cost data are paramount. To achieve this, we propose to limit the number of failure codes available to diminish confusion and enforce a stringent policy around those failure codes. By embracing these practices, we can enhance the accuracy of service reporting, leading to improved patient safety, efficient budgeting, and optimal equipment lifecycle management. Thanks for listening to this episode of the First Case Expert Series. For more asset lifecycle management questions and answers, you can contact Ashley at ashley.jackson at masri.com.